The Pollinator Victory Garden by Kim Emmerman. When the war on poll pollinator decline with eco ecological gardening, um, how to attract um, and support bees, beetles, butterflies, bats, and other pollinators. <laughs> Long subtitle. But you get like five um, different chapters. Um, so essentials of pollinator and pollinators and pollination, providing um, pollinators with a place to live, providing pollinators with food to eat, um, a parade of pollinators, meet the pollinators so different people, um, people different animals. Um, five, creating and growing a pollinator victory garden. Um, so like how plants attract pollinators, threats to um, the animals, types of pollinators, understanding the habitat of an ecosystem. Um, so like honeybees and bumblebees, solitary bees, um, choosing plants, um, native plants. Um, chapter four, which is about the different animals. So like what plants they are attracted to. So if you want to attract bats or if you want to um, attract the bees or whatever um, they include, what plants would they be attracted to is in it's listed. Um, planning and planting goals. Um, install pollinator signage, creating a pollinary, um, pollinator pathways. Um, so the importance of animal poll pollinators, threats to them, um, types nicely done like hummingbirds you get very nice um like photographs like you're not overwhelmed by all the information yeah it's a lot but you do get the photographs and examples of stuff so it's a really nice book for those who want um who find it important for the different types of like pollinators not just like bees or butterflies um because it does touch on a few other animals um it's not it's more of like a glance over of like a few different topics about um the animals and like the plants that um play a role in like pollination so it's a great um, reference point to have in your collection and um, um, but yeah um, so if this has some sort of interest to you um, this book does have um, is out there um, so yeah the pollinator victory garden happy readings